So you've downloaded and installed all of your graphics, templates, and transitions that you may have acquired from the creation store, but you have no idea how to use them. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you all of that in today's tutorial. What's going on guys and welcome to the Creation YouTube channel. My name is Howney and I'm a filmmaker here based in Oxford. Today I'm going to be covering the basics of the much much awaited gym graphics that the Creation team has made for Premiere Pro. Now these gym graphics are completely customizable for whatever you want them to be. So whether you're in a gym and you want to showcase what muscle group you're working on, you can do that with these graphics by adjusting the size, the opacity and the colors of whatever you want to affect. So the first thing you want to do is open up Premiere Pro, create your sequence, name it accordingly and save it in a place where you can easily access it. So I'm going to open up my Premiere Pro and I've already actually created a sequence. It's a gym sequence here that we have three simple clips of just people working out. And these are the clips that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Now in a previous video, I already explained how you can import all your graphics templates and transitions into Premiere Pro, so I won't be covering that in this tutorial. Instead, we're going to go straight into it. So once you've already imported them in, you're just going to go onto your search bar, which is here located in the essential graphics page of Premiere Pro. And in the search bar here, you're going to type in CC for the creation team's effects, hit enter, and here you have all of the graphics available to you from the creation team. So we're going to drag and drop one of them, for example, this Mesomorph body template and we're just going to put it over our clips and over our footage and here it is. So we're going to quickly cut this down to size so it can fit with our clip, but it's still a bit too small. Now what we're going to do next is we're just going to go here on the left hand side where it says scale and just raise the values up until it covers our whole screen. Now the reason why I've done it on the effects control panel instead of the essential graphics panel is because in the essential graphics panel there are safe margins where the scale won't grow past the safe margins. So it's better to do it on the effects scale so that you can accurately scale or resize your graphics. So next here on the global settings of the essential graphics tab, you can see that we have scale and position. So the scale essentially makes it smaller or makes it bigger. And that's going to be the case for every single graphics that you touch. Scale means the how big or how small something is. The position will essentially move it to the left or to the right. And that's the X axis and the Y axis moves it down or up. Next, we're moving into the background settings. So here straight off, you can see right stripes color. Now what that affects is the stripes on the right hand side of the effect. So if we were to change this to let's say a lighter blue, here you can see that the colors of the stripes has changed. Now the opacity means how transparent something is. So if we push this all the way down to 0%, it's no longer there and you can't see it. Whereas opposed to 100%, you can fully see it and it's prominent. So we'll change this back to the original color because I quite like it. The left stripe does the exactly the same thing. You can change the color or the opacity. Now the background color is essentially a layer in between your clip and your graphics. So for example, if we move to the opacity here and we go all the way to 100%, you can no longer see the clip that the graphics is placed above. Whereas if we go to 0%, you can now fully see the clip. Now I quite like it at 50% because I think it's quite nice to have it there. Next, we move on to transition settings. And the transition settings, if I scroll right to the beginning of the transition around, let's say here, here where these lines appear, those are the transitions that the graphics will be affected. So for example, if I change the color of the main line to a green or a lime, that's what the color of the line becomes. Similarly, if I get this eye picker and choose green again, those lines now become green. Down here in the glow amount essentially affects how much the line glows. So if I push all the way to 100, you get a big, nice glow. And if I go to zero, it doesn't get rid of the glow completely, but it definitely reduces it. So let's go back to the original settings. Now, the next section that I want to talk to you guys about is the body section. And if we go back here to the body selection, if we click on back, you see the back of the human graphic and the front, you see the front of the human graphic. 
Now let's drop down to the menu for the front muscles, back muscles and figure controls. So if we go down to front muscles, you get given a checklist of all the different muscles that are available for you to use. For example, all the checkbox here directly affects the image on the left hand side of the humanoid figure. Now the biceps are selected. Now if you look over to the left hand side, you can see that there's an orange glow on the graphics biceps. Now watch what happens when I turn it off. The glow is no longer there. And this is essentially what you can do for every single muscle group that there is. Now let's select another one. Let's, let's say for example, the pectoralis or the chest area. There you can now see that his chest is glowing orange. That means it's selected. Similarly, if we change the back, you get given the same options. Let's say if we wanted to affect the deltoids, we will click on the deltoids and here you have it. The deltoids are now selected. So let's turn this off and change back to the front. Next is the figure controls. And the figure controls is something really useful that the creation team has provided. And here you can begin to fine tune your graphics. For example, maybe you don't like the orange hair color. Well, that's simple. We can change it to a nice teal or light baby blue and there you have it. Or maybe you don't want the opacity to be prominent. So we can always take that down and here it directly affects the graphic of our humanoid character. Here again, you can also change the muscle color. So depending on what highlight you want, you can always change that. For example, let's say a red. And now you're affecting the red section or you're choosing a color red. Next, we have the muscle color and the muscle color is the color of the highlighted muscle. So if we change this to something like red, now you can see that his chest area is glowing red. And lastly, something really cool that the creation team has added is the body scale. And here you can change the sizing of your graphic depending on where you want him to appear in your image or on your frame. Now, the last customizable selection within these graphics is the title selection. And here you have different types of layouts. For example, layout one is the one what we're seeing right now. Layout two gives you another style to read the information. And this is the same for layout three, layout four, five, and you can even choose not to have a layout at all. So if we go back to layout one and just underneath the title selection is when you can begin to manipulate the text within the graphics. So because I'm using layout one, let's click on the first layout. And here you can now change the text. So let's change this to creation. Down here, let's change this to the body type, which is mesomorph body template. And the last one, we'll just change that to gym graphics. And here you have it. But here you can see there on the left hand side that the text is actually bigger than the box that it's in. No worries, we can always come down here to the top shape extension and just move the slider up until it completely fits. So again, really, really useful tools to have when it comes to editing and customizing these graphics. Now, if you're wondering whether these graphics are only made for men, then rest assured because there is a female graphics also available and you can also choose the different body types. So whether you're mesomorph or ectomorph, that's also available within the graphics that you can use and customize. And they work exactly the same way as I just shown you, completely customizable to however you want them to appear. Now, once you're happy with your timeline and you're happy with how your graphics look, you customize them to the way you want them to be. You can now begin to add maybe sound effects or music, which I'm going to do right now, just so we can get a sense of the full graphics in motion. And once you're finally happy with everything, the next steps is save, render it, and you can export it to then upload it to whatever platform you desire. So let's see how the final product came out. Now 
Now to summarize everything that we've spoken about in this video today, what you want to do first is you want to open up Premiere Pro, create a sequence and name it something appropriate and easy that you can access later on. Once you've put your clips in, next you want to go into the essential graphics panel and pick the graphics that you want to go over your clips. Once that's all done, you can begin to completely customize the graphics to make it look however you want them to be. Then to make things look even more cool, you can begin to add your transitions, your sound effects and the music layer just to make the complete body of work. And finally, the last thing is save, render and export it ready for uploads. So that's the end of the tutorial. Let us know if there's any product videos that you'd like tutorials for in the future so that we can begin to upload them onto the Creations channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out Creation on Instagram to keep up to date with all their new product releases and updates for these products. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one. My name is Howney and take care.